If you're here to take back your old office, Daniel, don't break out the measuring tape just yet because your plan to worm your way in just failed. So you can walk your ass out the same way you walked in? Lewis, it's so fascinating seeing you and Harvey united like this after all you must have been through. What are you talking about? Her. I see you finally got the better of him on something. I didn't get the better of him on anything. There's no daylight between us. Now get the hell out of here. And do it quick before I have to call security to tell them I'm beating the shit out of you. No need. Since you're not interested in what I have to say, I'll go see Jessica. And just between us chickens, there's a chasm of daylight between you two. Hey, how's Pierce Inspector's newest partner? Are you talking about me or Daniel Hardman? News travels fast. It does when it's news about a lying sack of shit. Mike, I would hope that a partner with his eye on the future would be more forgiving. You mean a partner that owes you? You're not here about Daniel, you're here about me. You're goddamn right I am. You promoted me just to get Harvey to trust you so that you could set him up. No, I didn't. Bullshit. No, bullshit is a gifted lawyer being held down by partners to whom he's pledged his loyalty. Which brings me back to what I just said a minute ago. You think you bought my loyalty. Mike, you can pick whatever side you want, but when the dust settles and Harvey and Jessica are gone, there'll be a place for you here because I respect you. Let me tell you something, Jack. When the dust settles, you're gonna be the one begging for a place. And I'm gonna be the one recommending they throw you out. You really should try one of those standing desks. It's better on the back for a woman of your age. This is a standing desk for a man of your height. Nice to see you, Jessica. No, it isn't. And the last time I saw you, I told you to stay the hell away from my firm. And a good lawyer puts aside their feelings when there's money on the table. You cut the shit, Daniel. The second you get your foot in the door, you'll start hatching a plan to put me on the street. You're right. But thanks to you, the partners will put you on the street anyway. The hell are you talking about? The client I was willing to share with you is looking to make numerous acquisitions. And those acquisitions would have been new clients for you, too. Instead, we're going to start targeting your clients as acquisitions. And every one we close leaves you and comes right over to me. And now all the partners will know why it's happening. And your puppet, Jack Soloff, tells the partners, if we let you back, the bleeding stops. Which is why I'm here. To thank you, you would be so much less delightful if you had just said yes right away. Well, the least you can do is tell me your first target. I'll give you a hint. It's one that's gonna hit you right where it hurts. Mm -hmm.